everyone, welcome to Demon Edge uh, Studios, and I uh, almost forgot what I was what I was supposed to say there. <laughs> um, today I wanted to do a, a little bit of a personal blog, I guess, a personal what's going on. Um, first off, I would really like to apologize for the hiatus in um, uh, in posting. Um, things have been kind of kind of busy around here. Um, I've been back and back and. Uh, down and back to Virginia, um, I had to, com we completely moved my studio, I've had a lot of orders going out, which I'm definitely not complaining on that one, and, uh, and yeah, so it's just, there, there's been a lot of little stuff going on, and oh, also, um, inventorying my magic collection so I can get that put online, because I, I decided I no longer want any part of that. But, anyways, so that's what's been going on on the personal front, but as for the personal hobby front, um, I've been slowly chunking away at my vampire counts. Uh, I, found a, uh, I found a new game store um, not too far from me. It's, it's a, it is a GW store, but since I love our, uh, Age of Sigmar, you know, they, they, they have quite a few players of that. And finding a place around here has been very difficult, and it's kind of given me some motivation in getting my vampire counts done. Um, so first off, I wanted to start talking with with the this model right here. Uh, I she is the old. I can't remember what lore wise what she's what her name is, uh, but she was responsible. She was partially responsible for the uh, the Tomb King and the vampire count bad blood but i can't remember for the life of me what her name is so if somebody knows shoot it in the comments below i would really appreciate it because it's driving me crazy but i found her in a bits bin and i figured you know what let's let's use her um she can be a vampire lord no reason no reason why she can't be in the uh in the uh, uh realm of death and then we've also got a couple reaper models that i decided to uh, paint up and use. Obviously, I couldn't take them to the GW store because I think you have to have uh, all GW models there, old or new. And uh, this is a, I want to say a Ghoul Queen. I'm not 100% sure, but she got painted up, and I really like the way she turned out. Um, and then I got a Torturer, a Reaper Torturer. Uh, who, who I'm just, you know, I'm just going to use as a, uh, you know, a, a vampire lord or a lich or something. Um, I think she she turned out pretty nice. She's got a, she looks kind of like a, uh, almost like a nun, and uh, I don't know. I think that's a cool, uh, um, mirror to what the vampire counts are, and I I just like it. And then I got a raging heroes model that I had laying around. I don't know where this actually came from. I don't ever really I don't remember ever picking her up. But, uh, so I painted her up. I, I don't quite remember if uh, uh, vampires can be uh, equipped with two hand weapons, but hey, if they can, I've got one. So there we go. Lastly, I've got a Morngool. I picked this up in a lot on eBay. And... He is he is so freaking cool. I absolutely love this model. Um, I don't know how they actually play, but I've been painting this guy up, and I've just been really digging him. Um, I went with the just the standard ghoul theme in the Citadel uh, paint booklet, um, and yeah. So I've got a nice amount of uh, blood for the blood blood for the blood god splattered everywhere. And I just got to finish up his, uh, the horse's saddle, then on to the basing. So with all these, with all my undead, I decided I want to go with, uh, not really a White Walker theme, um, from Game of Thrones, you know, uh, but, but, uh, a northern theme, you know, I like, I like the idea of the land of death being, um, attributed to, to, to the north and snow and cold. So I think that's that's I think that's what I'm going to be working on with them. And of course, I still have some Tomb King stuff, and I don't know, I have no idea how the hell I'm going to incorporate that into the North. 
it just you know it sounds kind of weird it is it just sounds weird being uh uh you know making uh your necro sphinx bidding him blue and all cold and whatnot and having them in egyptian armor so i'm not sure how i'm going to do that yet if you got ideas i would really like to hear them because i i need to figure that out because i want to get this army done so i can so i can go game so all right guys well that's it for today um yeah, so please like, comment, and like, comment, and subscribe if I could talk. And until next time, guys, happy painting. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.